Hi loves, it's Shonda, how are you? And welcome to Shonda Says. A lot has changed since we last saw each other. Yeah, especially my hair. But real quickly, I want to do a quick, um, I don't know if shout out is the right word, but I want to just take the time to talk about Hurricane Sandy real quickly. This week was really tough for me. I'm just getting back up and really getting back into the swing of things, as you know, this hurricane has affected so many of us. Some people have even lost loved ones. So my prayers go out to everyone that has suffered during this horrible, horrible storm. I think it hit us more than we realized it would. And um, I know for me, like things like getting gas, getting our lights back on, getting back online, those are very small things compared to what a lot of people are dealing with. Some people still have no power. Some people have no home to go to. So you know, just want to be ever mindful that there are others that are doing worse off than we are. So we just have to be mindful of our blessings. Okay, so with that being said, I want to get into tonight's subject. I know it's Sunday, but being that I haven't recorded in such a long time, I wanted to come on and do something a little different and a little spicy. Um, the other day in the car, me and my sister were listening to Alexander O'Neill. And there's a song that he's done that I love. It's called All True Man. Now, if you're over 30, I'm sure you know who, who Alexander O'Neill is. So we're listening to the song, and he's talking about all these things he's going to be for a woman. And I said to my sister, I said, sis, you know, it's really tough, I believe, because, of course, I'm a woman. How do I know? But I think it's really tough being a man. If you're a viewer of Shonda Says, you know I tend to be pro-man. And I've never hid the fact that I love men. I really, really do. And the song just made me really realize how hard it must be to be a man. Because when you're born into this sex, there's so many expectations placed upon you. Not just as being a parent and, and you being a son and what a parent expects from you. But once you become a man and what your partner will expect from you and what a woman will expect from you, just right away, you're coming into the world with all these expectations that you have to meet. And if you don't meet them, are you any less a man? So let's take some of what I'm talking about. Let's talk about some of the things. As a man, Women expect that you will be a provider. Now, whether or not I am providing for myself or not, as a woman, you still want a man who is a great provider, who is still doing above and beyond even, may, even what you may be doing. Because most powerful women, we want a powerful man. We want someone that's going to equate or better than what we've done. So we want someone who has his stuff together. And dare I say, has his shit together. <laughs> we want a man that is sensitive. Though I don't like a man that's overly sensitive. I still need him to, you know, be able to buckle his own pants. But we want a man that is in tune to us emotionally. And we want a man that uh, is understanding, that has patience. Um, we just want and need so many things. And as a man, uh, there's so many jobs that they have, even in terms of being a father. You know, your children want you to be present in their lives. If you have a demanding career, it's very hard to be present because you got to go out and provide, you know. So, you know, I thought about this even with my own husband and my expectations on him. I think that my expectations with Scoop tend to be pretty high. And uh, though sometimes I think I'm really easy to work with, too. There are things in my life that just very few things that make me happy. Like everything else I kind of will, will, uh, I kind of like it's not as important. But if I am given affection, if I am given consideration, I'm given respect. And yes, if I'm given sex, I'm very happy. If I don't have those things, I'm not a happy camper. 
But I just wanted to put it out there for the men that watch on says and for the ladies that watch on says It's not easy being a man. Think of it this way. When there's a crisis, men are expected to be the first ones through the door. If someone breaks in the house, the first thing you do is, honey, go check. You know, they're the first. They're like the sacrificial lamb and everything. And sometimes as women, we could forget how important they are in our lives. And um, if you're blessed to have a man, a good man in your life, it's not always uh, taken for granted that we're going to say you're a great guy. So for all of you out there who have a good man, just let him know he's good. It's not easy being a man. It's not easy taking on all the responsibility oftentimes and, and needing to be a lover, you know, the protector, the provider, the dad, the so many things that we need them to be. So, you know, this is slightly dedicated to my husband. He knows I love him. He knows he's very special to me. And um, again, uh, real quickly, I hope that uh, this hurricane, that you come through it with strength. And um, if you can volunteer, if you can either give to the Red Cross, if you can donate clothes, if you can donate food, cans, food, whatever you can do to help, make sure that you lend that part of your heart to do so. God bless you. I'll be back here tomorrow. Yeah, be back tomorrow. We'll talk soon. Bye-bye.